My topic is course on the, my, myself, Dr. Nevin Philip. And this is a process project conducted by Raja P. Sama instead of her. I am presenting it. So, this topic is the autogenous healing of high performance contracts using metrocarin. So, why I am choosing this work to us nowadays? Most of the construction in infrastructures uh, they are using high strength concrete or high performance concrete. That strength is above um, M60 or M70 grade or above that. So, when you are using this high strength concrete, what will happen that the because of the high cement which is contents or high cement material, the heat of hydration at the initial stage is very high. If there is an improper curing happens at that stage, there crack generation, that is the earlier crack aggression or shrinkage crack generation at the early stage should be high. So actually this work is on the interest stage only. So I am just studying the mechanical properties only. We have to move on to the and expert analysis. So based on this mechanical property, first we will move on to what is usually the process, natural process of crack repairing in the presence of moisture. Usually if it is any other additional chemical or metal is added, normally we can small amount of the crack, if it is less than 0.03 microns, we can repair that kind of cracks with the cementages or any admixer, admixer itself. So based on that, what how, how the mechanism happens is that occurs of the carbonation of CO2 and CO2 in the cement CO2, we form a resultant of CO3 and CO2 crystalline precipitate accumulate and grow through the out of the caps. So, Instead of the presence of these addition postlonic materials, these small amount of cramps will automatically heal. That is the process of part of genius healing mechanisms. So in my work, we have, I already told that we have concentrated on the M70 grade concrete only. Because of the previous studies, I am fixed only the 10% replacement of metacal, which is a mineral mixture. So in order to generate this early edge crack or the shrink edge crack which developed, so I am cured the specimen is a zero day that is we didn't cure only 24 hour initial wrapping is adopted then three days curing and seven days curing. these are the different stages of curing adopted to initiate this early age crack. so my focus is in this study is preserved only main on the mechanical properties only and how it's so how the crack occurs I investigate the propagation and flexural strength and compressive strength are used to find the detect and how which amount is healed usually. So in this scope, I am already mentioned M70 grade and the study is restricted to three, seven days, and the study's test result is based on seven, twenty-eight, and one day three days for compressive and flexural. So cement we are not the PC53 grade is used and properties. And for fine aggregate, is zone 2 belongs to, and the specific is 2.6, and uh, these are the water portion of the fine aggregate. And crushed stone aggregate is used, ice and DMM, and these are the water absorption and crushing value. So, normal portable water is used, that is, drinking water is used. Then, we are using a mineral admixture metacarin, and these are the chemical compositions compared to cement and metacarin. These are the chemical content of this metacarin which you have tested, and these are the percentage content in it. And we are used because it's a high strength concrete, so we need super processor. So we are used polycarboxylic ether, and its related density is equal to 1.08. So we are for this casting, what we are used is we are created a beam specimen and the RCC beam specimen. And for these are the reinforcement, which is a minimum reinforcement as per the Indian standards we are built. So these are the specimens used for testing the flexural strength. And this beam is designed as per the Indian standards. And as per the mixed design, these are the mixed design proportions which are calculated as per IS code. And these are the proportions which you obtained. And these are the some of the specimen casting and casting times. So and I already told that here for compressive strength, cube specimen of 150 mm cube is casted and the specimen is cured for 0, 3, and 7 days only. And the compressive strength tested for 7, 28, and 180 days. Similar for flexural strength also. All the specimens used for 700, 150 by 150 mm for the flexural strength. So, 
you know that the type of crack occurred in this plug is usually when you are checking the flexural capacity normally the flexural crack is not uh, influencing in the case of when you are using a flexural capacity but uh, in the when you are creating a shrinkage or early age crack it will happen normally throughout the specimen the crack will generate but when you are testing the flexural property only the this flexural crack will have a significant influence in the property and these are the some of the testing photos so, and uh, these are the some specimens with our metacalin and, and metacalin specimens are there so we can say that there is some of the cracks are already visible some areas due to the proper curing that is we are creating an early age crack in the specimen so we will go on to the compressive strength result so in this chart we can see that we are tested seven day metacalin and the seven day without metacalin specimen with metacalin specimen and the days cured is 0 3 and 7 days so different specimen fixed that if you without metacalin is the compressive strength with four cos cured specimen zero day cured specimen the strength obtained at seven days is 80 and for three day cured it is 25 and seven day cured is 30 if you look into the specimen with metacalin the compressive strength for Zero cured specimen is 23.59 and 29.03 and 34.48. Similar to it is 54.75, it is this MPA, and for width metal can it is 57.23. And for seven day, it's coming around 60.36, and for with metallic is 66.92. And for 28 day, it is 61.99 and 76.5. So these are the for the 190 day test result, and it is coming around a similar pattern is obtained here also for 190 day test result. In which we can see that there is an influence of metacalin in the strength for cyacoid specimen that it is strength is slightly increasing, even though it is a slight, but they have some influence in the healing of these cracks. When we have cement only specimen, we know it's high get of high heat of hydration, there is a crack will develop. That cracks will automatically heal when we go we look into this later is initial, there won't be much difference in 45 and 46, but when we look into the later stage, we can get that a slight in, compared with the percentage is a little bit higher, goes on higher. That is, the crack is properly healed. When you look into the seven days, the 60 and 66, that is, there is a healing will happen in that. And this is the same result which is shown in the bar chart only. We can see that for metacalin, we can see that the first for seven day testing cured specimens. The x axis we have curing days and y axis is compressive. We can say that a slight increase in the strength in all the cases. So we can see there is a slight increase in all the cases. There is if we have for one eighty days, if we check into one eighty days supplement only specimen, this is the magenta color and it is the dark green color. We can say that there is, there is an increase in strength. So it is coming around, say that for seven day compressions without undergoing any doing, we can that around twenty point seven two percentage and eleven point nine eight percentage with three days curing and seven days curing. This is the increase in the similarly a maximum percentage is twenty eight days. The compression was observed at zero days it is two point four percentage only, and for three days it is four point three and seven days it is nine point eight percentage. And 90 percentage around for 28 days. And the maximum strength obtained for 190 days, if we check in 180 days for zero days, there is an increase of 9.3 percentage. And for three days is 11.3. And the uh, seven days curing it is 16.16. And the 28 days is around 24.0. So, so when you compare to the third specimen, there is a large increase in the strength. When you look into the seven days. We can see that is a healing will happening at this stage itself. Next about the uh, flexural properties. So we can see that the flexural strength is the same 
testing methods is used only the specimen we are tested for fracture as well and we can see that the when you are going to check the zero decay the flexure strength obtained value is 5.4 for without metacalin and if it is for with the metacalin it is 7.7 for three decay value it is 8.7 and for metacalin is 9.6 and for seven days decay it is 10.2 and terminal is 11 Likewise, we can see for 28 days it is 7.7 and 8.36, and for three days period it is 9.95 and 11.26, and for seven days metacalin is 11.61 and 12.24, and 28 days 11.92 and 13.74. Similarly, for 180 days, 8.16 and 8.83 and 10.06, 11.72, and for seven days it is 11.91, 12.9, and for 28 days 12.47 and 14. And similar figure we can see, like the number six one, we can see a similar effect of metacalin in the crack pad and all the increase in the flexures and we can adopt. Yes, similar pattern we can see in the graphical representation also. If it is a metacalin, that is the reddish one and the dark blue, greenish blue, and the last one, the grey color, we can see that there is an increase in strength in all the cases. And from that is that when you compare to the values for undergoing, there is a 29.87 percentage and 9.3 percentage. When you compare to seven days during, and when we compare to 28 days, the result it is around 7.89 for zero day during my specimens, and 11.63 for three days, and 5.14 for seven days years. And it is around 13.05 percentage for 28 days. And for when we look into the 180 days result. We can see that a zero squared specimen is seven point five eight, and three days which is fourteen point six one, and seven point six eight six four seven days squared specimen at fifteen. So, like we say, smaller increase in strength up to ten to fifteen percentage is happening in the flexure stuff, and around fifteen to twenty or twenty five percent of strength will happen in the composite stuff. And as to what I told that the this composite strength is not sufficient for predicting that it's going to happen. You have to go for the SEM and XRD analysis because some probability lockdown and that's why the restrictions is uh, because of the testing is not happening. So it is going on now. So based on the strength result, we are predicting this kind of. So in order to fix it is due to the autogenic sealing happening. We have to go for this XRD and SEM analysis. Presently, it is not available. So. Based on this strength test result, the type of crack occurred in the structure is flexure crack. We can say that the crack occurred from the bottom and tends to diagonal direction and moves upwards. We can see that that the addition of metacalin in atrogenic steel has occurred and the formation of anti crack is correct. It is visible from the result. Then why replacing with the 10% metacalin strength because increase and also a reduction in the formation of early crack approximately. Approximately 60% of early cracks form at heel in addition of metacalin. And the metacalin contributes uh, strength mainly to the cute coconuts under this one at the early stage, and it has been observed that seven twenty eight and one hundred is composition of flexure of specimen has increased due to the addition of metacalin when compared to specimen without adding metacalin. And these are the some of the uh, persons which preferred for. Um, thank you.